In March of 2017, I had just started going back to school for my master's. My hair just kind of started falling out in handfuls and uh, I didn't know why. It was something that I had gone to the doctor for several times and it took a very long time to figure out what was going on and it turns out I have uh, alopecia areata, which is um, an autoimmune disorder. During that time, whenever we were trying to figure out what was going on, I remember being very upset and not knowing how to process all of it. I remember we were doing the Giant Killers yeah. series at church, and I remember thinking this was just a giant I had to face at that time. Being a girl and losing your hair sucks. It was September that we found out we were expecting yeah. Yeah. of 2018. 18. It was all planned. It was all yeah. very, very planned. I would be having the baby in May, um, right after graduating. We were very meticulous about planning it that way. Yeah, the and whole summer and yes, all that. Yes, that was our plan, but... Um, it didn't turn out that way. We uh, had a miscarriage at the end of October, we found out. There's a lot of people out there that go through the same thing and you hear about it, but you never think it's gonna happen to you. It was, it was one of those things you were very, very excited for and it was just all taken away. Whenever we uh, were cleared by the doctor to start trying again, we did right away and we got pregnant again. Yep, we were very Right away. And we were very fortunate to it to happen very quick again. Yes. And that was in January. Mm -hmm. And once again, shortly after, we uh, found out that we had another miscarriage. I didn't know how I would be able to handle myself towards her and support her because I had no more answers. I had no more words of encouragement. <laughs> Sitting with her, a lot of times in the bathroom and trying to tell her it was going to be okay. You kind of shut down too. And I got to the point where I remember saying to you, we have got to talk about this. And that's when I remember you saying that just the profound, you know, I thought we had had our one. We had had our one. So we should be good. And I think just again, just that whole questioning of why and why, why, questioning God with the why too. It was very, very difficult to be strong for my wife and at the same time not be angry at God. I felt like I was shutting God out for a little while because I didn't want to be angry with him. I wasn't ready to face it. I wasn't ready to come to him because I felt so broken. I remember being in the shower one day and just having this overwhelming feeling and God was saying, I'm here and just talk to me. Just talk to me. I wanted to see it in a different, a different way than how I was seeing it. There were plenty of times when I was like, oh, this is punishment for something. Like, and that's not, that's not it at all. And I think that's exactly what Satan would have wanted. And I wasn't going to give him that satisfaction. It wasn't long after that, that there was a sermon at church all about, you know, putting God above all else, no matter the circumstances, and putting him first. And I remember talking to Tan about, you know, what if, once again, asking those questions and you're not gonna get the answers, but realizing that we wanted a baby more than we wanted God at that point. There aren't a lot of people that talk about miscarriages and those, those types of um, losses enough to me I, I don't think that people talk about it enough anyways it's not something that's out there in the open enough for people to sometimes fall back on each other and maybe be that guidance to 
be like, you know, you know, tell them that we, you know, had to make our focus more towards God to get through it too. It's not something that you just all of a sudden wake up and you're fine the next day. You definitely have to be there for each other in the whole process. That was both of our big kind of fallbacks. We're, we're, we're on each, or we fell back on each other. I remember thinking like, at first, oh, you know, there's people who have gone through this time and time again, several times over, not just two times, not just when they're first trying and they get, oh, get pregnant right away. There's people who have struggles with infertility and haven't even been able to ever conceive. And I can't imagine what it feels like in that sense because I haven't been there. But I know without our relationship with God as a couple and, um, individually that we wouldn't be sitting here right now and telling you our story. We'll never know why we were, we have gone through this and this is part of our story, but if part of that is just going through this so that we can be there or lend an ear or a helping hand to someone else who's going through it or has gone through it and just knowing that how someone else would feel in that situation. If that's why we we're meant to go through this, then I'm just, honestly, I'm grateful that we did. The end of February, you had your surgery and it was... The end of April. End of April. And... We found out we were expecting yep. again and... Now we sit here in front of you, um, eight months pregnant. And we feel very, very grateful and blessed that we can be sitting here and saying that. And we know that so many people have gone through this over and over again. We both have a incredible um, family on both sides that were there for every step of the way and always there to help out and always, you know, there for whatever we needed. Church family too, we had a lot of friends in the church that definitely uh, were there for us too. And A lot of people shared their story yeah. once uh, we started putting it out there a little bit. Whenever uh, we knew this series was coming up about storytellers, I, I felt that nudge during worship, like your story matters, you need to say something, you need to talk about it. I kind of, you know, grieved and quenched there and uh, didn't really, want to listen and then it wasn't three days later that Adam reached out to me and said hey would you want to tell your story and that's when I was like all right God I hear you loud and clear it matters sharing it matters I'm Tanner Clagg and I'm Megan Clagg and this, and this is, is our, our story, story.